Soon Edward was coupled up to the trucks of furniture and he set off slow and steady. Will do my best, will do my best. Spencer set off and quickly passed Edward. I've won already. And with a whoosh, he was gone. Edward came to the bottom of a steep hill. The freight was heavy and he felt very tired. Donald and Douglas were nearby. They'd heard about the race and began cheering on Edward. Go on, Edward! You can do it, Daddy! Edward huffed and he puffed and was soon at the top. He could see Spencer in the distance and chased him at once. Edward raced down the hill. Spencer had stopped at Wellsworth Station. The Duke and Duchess wanted to buy some tea and cakes from the refreshment lady. Edward teetered into view. Hurry, old boy! Can't have you finishing too far behind me now, can we? I wish I could have a rest too. Huh? I know, Edward, but we can't stop in the middle of the line. We have to carry on. Edward picked up steam and proudly puffed past Spencer. But then, the Duke and Duchess finished their tea, and Spencer was off in a flash. He roared past Edward. Fastest of best, fastest the best. Edward was nearly out of path. The trucks felt heavier than ever, but he was determined to keep on moving. Spencer had to stop for water. The Duke went to take some photographs of the countryside. He set up his camera with the Duchess. Spencer yawned and closed his eyes. Mm. Nothing to worry about. That old bucket of bolts will never catch up to me. The Duke and Duchess had finished taking photographs and were back on board. Time to go! But nothing happened. Spencer was dreaming of victory. He didn't hear his driver and he didn't hear Edward puffing past him. Wake up, Spencer! Uh, 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 what? Huh? Oh, no! <laughs> Nearly there! Nearly there! I'm not going to move to an old fuss pot! Spencer took off as fast as he could. But as he reached the siding, his driver ordered him to slow down. These are old tracks and you are a heavy engine. You must go slowly. Spencer had no choice but to slow down. And he trundled slowly down the siding. With every click and every clack, he knew he had lost the race. Oh, the shame, the shame of it all. Edward puffed towards the summer house. Wowzers, I've won! I did it! Hooray! Edward felt like the pride of the Sodor Railway. And he was right.